it's beautiful that you know that death can be normalized like this and that the show has been able to um from what i've seen in the writings lift the taboo or be able to have regular conversations about um mate or about funerals <laughs> Ite wa i fakai a Francis Rabo ko kaiora ti peneke fakakiti a raiwa mahi fakahai de pare tu pa pa ku kita maki makaro ma te tahi ho ta ka pawa ka fakata ka hore raiwa ya ta mo hiotia ko huri poki te au fanui a neira ta raiwa ko re Francis raiwa ko kaiora ti pene Indigenous 100. Francis Tipene, Kaiora Tipene, Tena Kuro, Tena Maiki Tene Hotaka, Tena Uotake Take, Indigenous 100. Hey, you two Taki Kuro are key here. Kite Farewananga or Takira, Unga Kuro Kopapa Maori or Aotearoa. Ah, and what is it a case of there's the woman of my dreams and I'm going to spend the rest of my life with her working with dead people? What's this? What's this? That's true. <laughs> well, well, it was. It was the poi. You know, yeah, e, e, e mahine won a poi. Oh. Yes, and um, it, it caught my eye. And I thought, Keep oh. going. Yeah, it caught my eye. But <laughs> at the time, she was engaged. You were not engaged, but you know, ko hono atu ki te tahi atu. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And 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 then he told her, well, you know, it was about well, how if you know ki kite o te tahi puti puti, how do I get it? Um, you know, the, how do I get so this flower so that I can wear it on my my um, lapel and then uh, you know delicately well, I was able to cut the flower and uh, <laughs> from someone else and bring it over to me wow yeah. okay that could be another podcast <laughs> yeah, that could be. Play I, I can see it I can see it now I can see it now. no but you because at the time you were thinking you wanted to get into the funeral business didn't I, you? yes why just what well, well, being brought up up north here, well, um, you know, going to many tangihanga, uh, many funerals of, of people we knew, obviously, and a lot of aunties and uncles. And when I saw um, auntie and uncle, auntie or uncle alive, um, kete pai, and then when they'd come back in their caskets, they looked so beautiful and so awesome. They looked better dead than they were alive, you know, just uh, really done up and. And、uh, you know they were ready to meet the Lord as such, so they were, had always had their best on. And、uh, and I just wanted to know how how that happened. How did Auntie, you know, how was Uncle so, you know, Uncle like a powering a type Uncle, and then he come back look like he was ready to go to a ball. And so I wanted to know how that happened in a matter of hours. And then you thought, oh, I'm going to get in and do I'm that. I'm going to get in and、That's、do that. Me, That's me, man. For the rest me, of my man. life, my two papa. Oh yeah, <laughs> bring on those dead people. <laughs> I'm going to hear another quick appeal, Francis. See the way you talk here, I call you. Totally. Ne? I think <clears throat> at the time, him and I were so driven in the education and wanting to be teachers that when he came home and said to me, "Oh, babe, I'm wanting to start our own funeral home," it was just. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> so at, at the time when he did come home with that fakaro, I was, I didn't really take him serious. I was just thought, oh, you know, it's another tiny thing. He's going through those emotions. <laughs> But I kid you not, the following week, he said, "Babe, I've got a job in in Tamaki because we were living in Kaitai at the time. Right. I've got a, I've got a job in Tamaki with a with a funeral home, and I've got you some mahi.、Um, you can work at the local kura, and our kids are registered. To, and I thought to myself, okay, now he is serious. Wow. <laughs> I better start packing. <laughs> oh, so you already had a game plan sorted, yeah? Had a game plan. Yeah. yeah, good on you. Yes, and, the, and good on you for telling you too. Yeah. Yeah, I. Kidding, <laughs> so just dropping it because you know, give them time to think. They think about it too much, but if you <laughs> drop it quickly and they make the quick decisions, then kopai and yai ne. Um, yeah. Wow, te a hua ki te mahi nga tu papa ku. I tu pua ke i te mea fakaroa no e hara i te mahi mama. Norida he a te mea oroto i a ku e mea na i tai e ku e te mahi te nei mai. I guess it was just, just 
either um, because you know being brought up in Hawaii, you know ngā okonga, ngā, ngā te tapu o te mate, you know you're surrounded yeah. by nan and pop and te hahi and ngā kōrero, katoa, e pāna ki te tapu o te mate, you know te noa, te hunga ora, and I just thought if 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 I've been brought up to be scared about this, well, I'm going to give it a real go and, and see what it is, see, see what's going to happen. Because, you know, Nancy, oh, you know, every time we had a mate, you bless this and you bless that and, you know, I'll wait up with this and karaki, that kind of, <laughs> cool, that's cool, you know, Nan, I love that and I respect that uh, to this day. Um, but I thought, no, it's, if, if, if Te Iwi Pākehā can do this and prepare our tupapaku for us, whereas before we did it ourselves, uh, what's, what's happened? Let's get back into oh. it. And, um, and so that was the risk part. It wasn't even worried about money or anything. The main thing I was worried about was the tapu. Oh, hang on. You weren't worried about money? Well, hang on. Now, <laughs> now yeah, Well, you had this putty putty. <laughs> you had to look yeah, after it. Pal. That's, that's true. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> absolutely. But he told a oh. while. It, was, it wasn't about, it was like, it was more worried. I was more worried about the tapu and what would happen and, you know, karaki and everything like that. And um, I guess we've figured, you know, not figured it out, but we were able to get that balance. Yeah. Mm. Me puna taku ki atu ki a koe kai ora. He re re ki te ra. <laughs> what te mea pui te a te mea. No no no. Te mea wana fakaro e bana i te mai tu pa pa koe ra me kato e yeah. tanga ta re re ki. Puno. I think um, it's it's it obvious over time it's growing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> he's just grown more passion for the mahi. I guess at the time. Definitely, I, w- I was taken back by yeah. his his desire to tiaki to papaku. Okay. When I come home from work, <laughs> I have a big bucket of water at the front of the... This was at our home. And I said, what's that for? She goes, you've got to bless yourself and wash yourself. And <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you worried about it, Aikaiwa? Like, well, were you worried about was, bringing that home? I didn't and... like the whole, you know, te ao uh, mate, to tip me a tiaki to papaku and how that transitioned in my whare or something around that. <coughs> and well, I have why, always why asked him. You, though, oh, you were brought up in Kaurau. You were kind of used to what taunga kwe ki ngā hui mate era I guess it was probably the, the I just felt like I'm, he needed to have a karaki every time he come home. Me te kato aku pākau ki te kuaha. Oh, ne? Oh, ne? Oh, well, now, now we know why you've got so many children. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, she didn't complain, and nor did I. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that was what my, you know, memory. Oh, tongue you know, sprinkle away. Oh. It's but not ne- like that anymore. No. Definitely yeah, not no, it's like not. that. No, it's not. Yeah. When you started to think about, or when you started the company, Tibetan Funerals, I pēhā ngā whakāro o ngā whare tu pāpaku. Well, it was difficult for us to get in. Why? Um, um, well, not, not, not to me. at that time, we weren't uh, really qualified, you know, in terms of uh, the, the, the qualification that they have here in New Zealand. Mm. Um, but we had experience with our own. And so, you know, with the Fakaro or where are to come up in Wahine, oh, Nanga Cowboys, you know, here they come. Yeah. Yes. Well, aye, I, th- aye. I think it's safe for me to say that at the time it was challenging. The views of other funeral homes did sort of look down on us because we weren't at their level of service. They, I, I kind of felt like, oh, here's these Marys in our industry and now they're trying to um, be professional with, the, with services that they also provide. It kind of felt like that at the time. But um, I guess, yeah. And that was the motivation. Oh, well, te pai e mehe mea e pērana o rātou whakaaro, let's carry on yeah. and then whakātua too. Oh. So, so what was that like to deal with though? Because that must have been pretty challenging. Uh, particularly at home, right? Yeah. You know, looking after whānau and then having to deal with that in a work sense. De- definitely. But I think it's like any type of business, you know, when you see a, um, someone new come in, you're a threat. And, and it was a it was good for us in in a way to know that we're threats to others, mm. so we use that as a as a motivation to be successful. But to show people, show our iwi, show others what is it that we can provide and how can we do that. And I guess that's where our point of difference is, is in, in the level of service that we provide. Yeah. Aye. Mm. 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 Mm.
Kite hoki mai te fano kite utu ite nama. Is that a problem? Or? Well, oh, <laughs> you, you look to your ngai ta with the Maori. It is. It's, it's very much mm-hmm. so. And so that's that's a balancing act and getting that right and not, you know, not over. Na te mete ni me te 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 os te pauri te mamai te te mau te kaku taratari runga te te hunga and ho pani nei te te mate. And they're not thinking right, and so when you love someone and you you want the very best, don't you? You know, um, and so that's one of the things is making sure that uh, it's all affordable. You know, let's keep it with. So, them. how do you do that? Because that's a tough conversation to have with people, oh, right? Different. Like you're kind of looking and going, "Had a bacon, you paper." Yeah. <laughs> well, look, at, 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 at some point in time, you in that process, you will need to discuss costs. Yeah. And it's something that we can't hide. We do have to have that conversation with Fano, and so we try and be as transparent as we can, as transparent as we can, um, from the point of of conversation. Yeah, but you're the chief financial chief operations officer, so you've got to <laughs> oh, do all the finance. So it's your problem, right? You've oh, got... he tries to put that back on me, but then he spends it all. So. Oh, and then? <laughs> well, we always need a new hearse and some ways it's broken down. And more caskets. Yeah, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it on casket here. You know what I mean. And because I, I, when the whānau, they don't have a transportation, I give them one of the hearses to he take. Does. You know? He and does. And so they don't often come back with all the wheels and the bolts and nuts. <laughs> and so like a darling. Oh, no. I, I, yes. Or they end up, you know, some people or take photos of, of my hearse at one of the pubs up the road. They go, I'm like, what the <laughs> I've got a smoke by hole in it, you know. I said, hey, where did you go up north? Oh, I know. 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 I Straight up, and and takuora ngatira, you know, if they want uh, the, the cream of the crop, then yeah. I will say kahori. Mm. No, it, let's not be silly. Mm. And and generally, the generation, you know, like my nan's generation, mm. the seventies, eighties, eighty-year-olds, uh, they wouldn't want you to momo put there on yeah. anything, you know. So, yeah. so you Keep know, you simple. can feel it and say kah. Mm. Just get something that gets the job done mm. for you and the whanau to kawe to the marae and the urupa. Wow. So I have a little package, it's called the Tangihanga package, which is designed specifically for our, our Māori whānau who have got their own car, back their car mm. up and place the two casket in their car and they drive off. Because mm. that's Kabai. what they want. You, you know when you first started, the email my kōrua, oh, you know, ko ngā whare tu pāpaku ke, tāru nu ana ia, ia kōrua i te ahua Māori nei. Mm-hmm. Uh, o ngā mahi, i pēhanga pakaro o ngā whānau, did they jump in straight away and go, yeah, we're going with you because you're Māori and... That's us. Awesome. Absolutely, yes. it was overwhelming. It was. Yeah. We had the support of so many Fano within the community. Mm. Hey, we had the local coma to a queer groups. Mm. They were all supportive, and they wanted to come be part of the karakia, be part of the pōhiri. Opening. Yeah, mm. the so. blessing, everything, and because it's you, you know it's we, don't, we haven't done it um, in the usual manner in terms of what uh, our the families are used to with other funeral homes. It is done and and run like a whānau. Okay, so, so talk me through that. How te tino tikanga mm. o ena whakaharenga a whānau nei? Mm. So what it is, you know, ki te mate te tahi tangata, mm. it'll be at the home or the hospital, you know, it will arrive, our staff will arrive, um, we'll call it all first. Me, te, te tuatahi, ko te hariru, ko te kihi i te whānau, kia tau i ngā wairua, and they go, oh, you know, some something about it, it just settles everyone, you mm. know, uh, in that, whereas... Um, because you do want to engage um, some, you know, kōrero with them and have some relationship with them. Sometimes you do go in there and they're just like, oh, look, we don't, I'm not sure about these people, we don't really know them, mm. you know, even mm. whether they've seen the show or not. So you do have a you responsibility to, to connect, connect with the whānau. You know, with, you know our, our, uh, with our hands and mm. with our hongi and it just... And I love it too because mm. it helps me connect with who who are we dealing with here, you know. There's people with someone dead on the bed here, but you know we've got family to deal with. What are we dealing with? Who are we? Mm. What, who are you from? And, and what are you after? You, you know what I mean. And, and when you touch, it it just settles everything. Mm. And then uh, first of all, we me mihi tātou, tātou, karakia, himene, 
and then everything just froze. Wow. It kind of helps you both can sing too, eh? <laughs> What's that look for? <laughs> I know, because I sometimes leave it to him to do. Really? I, know, I thought no. you said you were the better singer. Oh, <laughs> I would love to be, though, eh? <laughs> you are. <laughs> but that's an important part of the process because you talk about karakia, him and everything. Oh. Why to just lift spirits up? Mm, it know, unites us, yeah, yeah, lifts us. Mm. It does, it does and, unite us. Yeah. And I reckon that's one of the main differences between what you do mm. because you have your own Māori approach, right? It's an Indigenous mm. approach about how we deal with our mate mm. and interacting with whānau. But why it is really important, right? Uh, it, Absolutely. It, like he said, it brings us together, it unites us because we are all able to be one with karaki and one with himine. And um, we start that off as we, you know, we, as we arrive there and we tūtaki te whānau. And we also close that in our process. So before the whānau leave, we always conclude with that sort of ceremonial process with the himine, yep. with the karakia, with the mihi. So they, so they know, you know, they can travel just, uh, you know, on a safe journey, at least conclude it with the karakia. Oh boy. Mm. What's the most difficult part of the job? Francis? The most difficult <laughs> part. I <laughs> oh, will come to you. <laughs> For me, well, um, since our business has grown, um, it, I used to be able to have the time to, for a lot of urban Māori to take a mate onto a marae or to a home and they don't have kai all, yeah. And so, you know, that would be part of... That would so, be kai 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 and, I don't, and this is a good place to say I don't want families to think, feel like oh he's too good for us now he's not doing any me he's not doing any of this oh, yeah. it truly is just about the time and while there are uh, two papaku that need to be taken mm. care of that are waiting and so we just got to get back to take care I mean we have staff but it's uh, we've grown a little bit uh, quickly mm. and we're not sort of we weren't ready for it and so that's where we've had uh, my wife and I had discussion about we don't want to lose what is special, yeah. you know, about yeah, our mahi, the quality, uh, the and, quality mahi, yeah. and being there for our people in mm. that sense. To, to, um, to have the mihi and to fakato when mm. you take it to Papuku back to a house and they've got no kai or there. So how do you deal with it if they don't have a kai Because I'd be into that. Like I love doing that corded or stuff. Right? Oh yeah, yes. we, yeah, you, you'd be. Oh, people would pay to have you there. Well, but, <laughs> but but you know what I mean? It, it's it's you're right. Um, look. It's we'll never leave. <coughs> we'll, we will have me, me, wahi karakia tato, paku mihi whakato. Mm. Quick translation into English so we all know what, what, what we're on. But if you ever take a, like, you know, any of us take a tupapaku to a house, place the body down and leave or, or just stand there and watch nothing happen, it is so weird. Yeah. And it's even if awkward. these people are not practicing Māori mm. tikanga, they know this is not right. Mm. Yeah. Something needs to happen, mm. be it a karakia himine or some mm. words of Māori, you know, to tāwareo. And at that point after which we've had some words and shared it, they f it there's just a settling mm. feeling. Kapa, oh, yeah. As you were, Dang. and let's just, you know, let you be and yeah. you don't need to worry about, you know, uh, protocols and tikanga, especially if they're not that yep. way inclined. Mm. Yeah. So you were going to say something else about difficulties? Well, I thought, you know, it depends, like, it depends the type of situation you're in and, and the cases that we that we care for. Like, I guess, if I'm allowed to say, there, was a, there are situations where the deceased has been married several times and you're having oh, to here deal we go. with... Here we go. <laughs> Those are, those we're having issues, to deal with yeah. so many kids and then they start arguing amongst themselves. So then you become a mediator and a counsellor. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so you've got to try and mediate them through that? You do, you do. You, you do feel that responsibility because you're also there. You're on a time frame, so you're just like, I don't have my whanau. We do have another whanau coming due to come. So if we don't settle this now, oh, you can come back tomorrow. They're, oh, no, no, we want to go home today. Wow. Okay. Let's get the sort of Let's talk so, about it. Yeah, so how do you how do you work through that? Like what what's your approach to try and fakato, itanaki maria, ho ho te rongo? And I I think sometimes it is like referring them back to their loved one, look aroha mai. Dad's been waiting for you next door for the last hour. Let's just have a karakia and we'll go and see him. And then most of the majority of the times fun are just like, what have we been doing all this time? Actually, sorry, you're right. Yeah. Uh. So, so I've been I've been to a couple of situations where um, that's happened, right? <laughs> and um, and then all of a sudden these kids turn up and the other kids are going, who's those fellas? Yes. Oh, 
Hemme a peke i te tau. Hei uri no peke i te tau. Ai, ai, ai. Here you go. And you're sitting there going, uh, uh, I didn't know that. No. I didn't know those ones. I didn't know those ones. And then all of a sudden they go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Call me out to mama. Oh, mm. that's right. <laughs> it, must yep. be, it must be a hard case dealing with that sometimes, oh, right? I mean, these are the laughs we have behind closed doors and, and you know, our little debriefs and talking with one another. Uh, but at the time, the best thing to do is in the hall, let's sit yeah. at the table. Yeah. And and if you can sort it out yourself, Kapai, if you need us to be the, you know, Pihimana in the middle, Ketapai will help you too. <laughs> yeah. But it's just a matter of talking because you don't want them to take their mate out and have their raru raru still. Let's try and settle it between us. He was a celebrant at one time and he didn't know that the deceased had other tamariki. Mm. And so when it was hit, he was, he was caught in the monks of it and they shot him down in front of everyone. Like, you didn't acknowledge these children here. And he was like, <laughs> I didn't even know it. They're not on my server. <laughs> oh, he was off speaking, come back and say, like, babe, I didn't even know this one. <laughs> oh, that would have been know, stink, oh, eh? it was. It was. I felt terrible. But, you know, you're, that's a Māori. You can add them and you know, add them into the, into the, bring them as part of the, the <laughs> ceremony. <laughs> Uh, the late arrival of his other children, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So. I know she said his most of the time too. Yeah, yeah his. <laughs> his. And is it mainly a his? It's mainly. Like, oh, mainly. Okay. Well, <laughs> the Hopefully not from the north. Right? <laughs> <clears throat> but okay, so you talked about that. What's some other difficulties? Because you know you're, well, you're the boss. <laughs> In terms of the finances and stuff, I mean, what, yeah. what's some other challenging things that you find yourself having to? I don't know. Ameliorate, remedy? Oh, look, like, other than, uh, I think you've already discussed about the, the te taha puta with our whānau having difficulty when we do yep. find those that are challenging. So what what I love about um, some of the discussions that we have now is that we try and educate our whānau to at least put funds away or be part of a trust or set up something so they can prepare that. So when it does come to that time, they're they're sorted, there's no debt. Mm -hmm. And we do have that available, you know, there is a tip in their prepaid trust if whānau are wanting to set funds aside and those are available, they will be available for their loved one at the time of passing. Um, Some families are not for insurances, they don't trust that process, so Look, it's, there are options out there to eliminate the stress, mm. the financial stress when it comes. Yeah. Um, it's not just the funeral home stress, it's no. the marae stress. Yes. It's the going to, who's doing the first petrol shopping, stress. the petrol to take yeah. the, you know, your whānau back. So it is a holistic uh, corridor that we, we, we promote and have with the whānau as well as, you know, let's not beat around the bush. I mean, we like to get paid too, but... Either the marae's going to miss out, we're going to miss out, someone's going to miss out. Oh. And if we can all take care of one another, you know, the marae and the whare mate, that'll be Yes, be and good. I, you look, and, and marae do expect payment up front and kete pai tera, you know, so at least whānau need to be educated, this is what the marae require mm, now. Koha, so, so how often would you find yourself in a situation where just people don't know? You know, haven't got the slightest idea. Yeah. They might not have had a direct family member who's passed away before. How do you, how do you walk them through that? Mm. It's mainly our, our uh, you know, our urban Māori who have not mm. really connected with their haukainga. Yeah. And it, it is dealing with, with that. Um, fortunately for us, we were able to sometimes open up one of our chapels and we'll transform it into a marae. Mm. We've got ch- mattresses and everything. So, so we'll just say, look, have it here. Uh, mm. Just all those sort of laying down rules. But... Um, that's how we deal with it. And that's probably about five times a month we'll go wow. through that, unfortunately. Um, and that's pending about availability and how busy we are mm. with them. But otherwise, we'll say, let's go home, put that curtain up in the kitchen, you know, divide mm. the lounge from the kitchen and just make it work with what we have. Oh, you know, yeah. we've got to do it. We've got to. Gee, mm. On average, toko hia ngā tu papa ku Lately. Three, three. Uh, nui on average. Mm. Oh, right. Mm. So, because the other, there are other issues that happen nowadays, right, around, <clears throat> say, things like, uh, you know, kua mm. uh, or uh, things like, um, well, 
Actually, this is, I've been watching too many movies because I've seen <laughs> cryogenics and all that. <laughs> Have you had any of those kind of interesting experiences where, you know, people want just completely different out of their things? And how do you deal with that? No, I think well, what we are seeing now is a lot of, I mean, everything's sort of within reason now. Hey? Yeah. But but a lot more Māori and Pacific Island whānau are cremating, which yeah, is yeah. just, and, you know, five years ago when the phone would ring, would take the take the call, the name of the person, contact details, and you would, could assume that the body was always for burial. Yeah. Um, but now we ask the question. Well, why do you reckon that is? Now, te hai bad ai, te, te tahuri tanga atu ki te tahu nei te ai. Easier. Possibly. E- easier. And it's a lot more affordable, affordable. than it is to bury here in, in Auckland. Mm. I mean, a grave here is what, about five to six thousand yeah. dollars. Oh, wow. Yeah. No. Five, and then the cremation is about six hundred and sixty-three dollars. And and they require that payment up front before you bury as well. Wow. Mm. So, you know, not many people have six grand hanging around in their pocket for the burial. Yeah. Mm. I, Gee, so, okay, so the, uh, the reason why I'm interested in this, because there's like all different things now where people, um, like I've got some uncles and stuff who, you know, got gangrene and had to <laughs> lop a leg off and they want to book their kind of leg in the wahi tapu and <laughs> <laughs> that's how they book their plot and, and all that kind of stuff. Do you get mm. any of those kind of things happen when you... Well, we get people ring us up, you know, our, our dialysis patients who've had legs cut off. They go, oh, Francis, <laughs> can you come, can you go to Middlemore and grab my leg? <laughs> Okay, Mato, where about Oh, yeah, I had it amputated last week. <laughs> so when I take your leg, Mato, what do you want me to do? With it? Can you hold on to it until <laughs> I <laughs> So I went and bought yeah. a, free, a freezer. Um, hey, hang on, what? You bought a freezer? We bought a freezer. Well, so like a deep freezer? Deep freezer. Just for Fisher and Paykel freezer <laughs> so that I can put all the legs in. And I've got a sign on the front. Do not remove. Because they're, 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 oh, I've got a lamb a leg. <laughs> But I, I had to put the sign <laughs> on there in what? Because my staff will might go in there. So at least we know. Oh, um, everyone knows not to, not put to go in that freezer. Meal, mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> and they go, Francis, how much is that going to cost you, me to hold the leg? I said, oh, well, as long as you, when you die, you come to me, then I'll then be okay. No charge, Matua. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit weird, eh? Well, it That's is different. weird, but I think if all these people are ringing me to pick up their arm, their leg, their toe, <laughs> Then it mustn't be weird. I mean, they must. The first thing they think about in death, if they're thinking about me, then <laughs> I better go and help them. <laughs> How do you deal with that? The fact that because these these are these are serious things for Fano, right? You know, um, uh, losing a body part or, or or you know thinking about death. The first one they want to talk to is you guys. Mm. What does that feel like for you? What are you thinking when people say? I think it's an honour sometimes mm. when do when Farno, really? yeah when when anyone really is just ringing up just to ask for advice for you know their limbs or or whatever some of them have simply asked um, just to go through the process and or the possibility of us flying to Christchurch to look after their loved one it's it's nice to know that people think of us mm. in that, in those times how did they hold up. Rereke nui nei, tata porangi pe. Ko kite korua, idoto ya korua mai. Oh, so many. Um, I think I can only think of that one, the funny one when she wanted to be buried upside down. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. What? The, the, uh, up the, at the Urupa, just up the road here, there's a, there was a matua that was buried normally lying down, and a few years later, his wife died and walk kotona here here to be buried on top of him but face down <laughs> <laughs> and i didn't ask why but uh have we you know I why are to keep the, keep the cemetery with the part is this possible because you know logistically we're thinking okay she might fall out or you know the door <laughs> the lid might come up but then we said no we can tape it up you know to keep make your wishes come through but now my te urupa kahore she's got to go up the right way they, so that was one of the weird ones they did though did they end up telling you why she wanted not to miss. She hadn't, you know, what well, was her wish? Fuck a Maori here, you are. Um, um, yeah. Oh, Corona, yeah, a moitahiana metono hora natira. So that's, you know, that's why. <clears throat> It's Ranginu, it's Papatunuku, it's well, all good. That's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. But you know, 
that to myself, well, kei, kei, kei ngā rangi tu haha, ko rua, you know, it's yeah. your tu papuku, but gee, that was her mm. wish, and ko tuhi e i roto i tōna will. Mm. So, yeah, that was that was one but, out of the yeah. box. <laughs> but that's our case. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, but I think the council allowed it no. anyway, so I felt aroha for her that she wasn't able to get her wish. You know what, kōru a mahi, he mahi rangatira. Kei te whaka rangatira koe, i ngā mea o te, i ngā whānau, i roto i a kōru a mahi. I a kōru a mahi ana i a kōru a mahi, ka toko ake tērā whaka aru i a kōru? Kei te whakarangatira koutou i ngā whanaunga o ngā, o ngā mea koa mate nei, kei te whakarangatira koutou i ngā tūpāpaku. Ka, mm. ka pue ake e rā mahara i a kōrua i e tahi tāna? Um, ka hore. I think most of the time, you know, te runga o te wāko te, te rā haipapa ki runga ki a māo ko, ko taku horanga te rā. Mm. That's huge responsibility of preparing the tupapaku, kia whakātua tu ki tōna whānau, mm. ki tōna iwi ki te motu in some cases. Mm. And so, um, you know, it's, you're not really thinking about that, you just wanted to get it right because you don't want anything to go wrong. What happens ka he? Ka if, if, it, if it happens at all, now you're, very, you're both very good and professional, mm-hmm. so I'm assuming it hasn't happened much. Mm-hmm. Engari ngā wā ka he, ka pē hea kōrua? A hare tō tika atu, ki te te whānau. Mm. And pia ka te, te he hea kia tūtaki i ngā mea kua he, mm. kia whakatika pia mm. ngā he. But, yep. uh, I think what has gone wrong in most of the instances, I'm sort of like, I mean, she, she holds me back, but I'm like, if you're an inkling but not happy with a part of a service, don't pay anything. You have it for free. Really? Yes. That's oh. my whakaro. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you do. That's, that's what, what you I say. do. Okay. If if they're lucky enough to get hold of me on my phone, uh, if it's most of the times Kaira will intercept it and, and look at the invoice and see what we can do. My but staff are very good. They know to contact me straight away. They go, oh, no, we won't give them to France. Or <laughs> and they, they, some fun I do. Though, but if, if I see that there are some, uh, an inkling where we are at fault, um, I possibly will um, sort of give away a few things, but mm. I will not wave the whole invoice. <laughs> 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 because there are some things, you, you will see that there, is, there, there has been instances where whānau have done their best to try and get everything off there. But I do know that when the kaumahi, and I won't, sorry, this is not to blame the kaumahi, that when, when the, there's a possibility that they may be at fault, or that they have done all the best they can to provide the services for the Fano. Mm. I will not let that go. No mm. way. How so, did Fano respond in those situations? Oh, some of them are, are relatively good. Mm. And and I'm happy to sit down and have those conversations and we do. We do manage to get through all of that. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm someone that's not <laughs> willing to wave the whole thing. <laughs> I, I I am. Mm. <laughs> I just, you know, not to me, uh, uh, because people generally remember all the things that went wrong, not the things that went right. And so I just don't want that ever to be, um, you know, on their mind all the time. Like, oh, yeah, then when that, then this happened. Or most of the times they're little things like maybe we might have forgotten to, the, the notice of the, you know, herald notices and everything. So they are my nightmare. Order of service sheets because one little thing, you know, because you've got to go through the spelling and boy, I'm not very good. I have to go through the spelling. It's not You know, the spelling and the grammar and everything. They go, oh, Francis, you missed an F or an S, you know, those things. And so that's all they're going to remember is the yeah. thing you did wrong. But, you know, it's it's hardly ever. And um, there are instances where I might just say, well, Vanu. You you pay what you think is worth, and then we'll leave it at that. Mm-hmm. You know, leave it in them. I'll leave it at the hand. He peha nei te ma- takurua mahi tahi. Ta te mea... O koa ka ta mai a te mea. O koa inu koe. I te mea, haro i te mahi māma ne, te, nei, te mahi tahi. You know, te, te, te hoa wahi ne, me te hoa tāne. Ai. Te hoki i te kāranga, ko tau āhua rāno. He peha takurua whaka mahere i a kōru. <laughs> Stop laughing now. I'm trying to ask a very <laughs> serious question. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, no, it's not funny, but it is. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I, I sometimes just want to be talking to the business partner, and it's really difficult to see 
the business partner than the husband because you see all these traits, the typical husband traits that come oh. out of him. Oh, typical <laughs> husband. Oh, do, do you want to talk about that? <laughs> yeah. It's so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kori <laughs> Taringa. So, um, so, so how do you do that? Because I, I genuinely am, am interested in how you do the business partner and not the husband. Because I reckon it would be really difficult. No, and it's true. It is very difficult. <laughs> but um, at the same time, we got to see the interests no. in one another's interests. And he he will say, um, like, he, he thinks far ahead with with certain things and it's just reminding him that there are steps in place to get there. Sometimes he's very impatient and just wants it right now but there are um, like council requirements that need to be adhered to first before we get there and Mr Tepin Whoa, you know, <laughs> we need to build some oh yeah, no, no we're, we're, uh, my cousin's a builder here, my <laughs> uncle, <laughs> uncle, <laughs> uncle, <laughs> Oh my cousin's a builder one. And I'm just like, ah, what nah. did you did you get oh. <laughs> no, he'll just put it there. So. Well you you were making quiet throughout then until that <laughs> well, until that late. Yeah, because I'm trying to go, where's she going with this Arnold? <laughs> <Where's she going? laughs> with the building and this and that, you know. But and not only that, but every time he's he oh, makes he a decision. More, he? <laughs> <laughs> every time he wants it, like what makes a decision, there's always going to be costs affected with this. And so it's a matter of educating him or reminding him that there are these things in place. That's why we get our whanau. But you know they just want <laughs> Box of beer or something, you know, that's what I'm trying to save costs in a yeah, different way. So, there we go. <laughs> I won't get you to respond. Um, but I wonder if you can tell me what her, what kind of, how wana tino pukenga? Ko wana tino pukenga, ko te administration, um, you know, te, there's, there's zero, you know, that Terra program, this business program. It's an accounting, an accounting software. Software. <laughs> or, 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 Oh, zero. Oh, zero. I wonder where you were going. Yeah. <laughs> te kore, <laughs> i o matua kore, what? <laughs> te kore ia me wera ahu tangkato ka, ka kore a tipine funerals. Um, you know, te utui, te, te, te taritake, the taxes, wera mea kato, te, you know, you know the basics the of business. The basics of business, which is, is <laughs> and, and I didn't sign up for that part. To be honest, I said, I'll do the mahi. Someone needs to do everything else. And so, and a lot of the times, ka kite o i tōna uh, te, te anini tango, tōna mahunga, te kahoki o te pātoko. Te anini rānei, he hōha rānei. Te both hoki rānei. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, ko, ko era wana pūhenga katoa. Um, and also, the, the, there are some things when you're dealing with mate that a female can do that a male can't do. Like and, what? Like... Just the gentleness about about you, you know a, a wahine kite pipi or a wahine kite tahi kuia. Uh, a lot of times, uh, all the wahine will come to dress and then to dress the body, and then I'll walk in and they'll they'll quickly cover her because they're shy, you know. To, and I'll oh, I'll go get my wife; she'll help you. Yeah. You know where I'm at Oh, not lately though. Every all the wahine want her mock. Was that right? You tiaki no. 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 <laughs> Okay. Your turn Kare I guess not, I guess. I know from what I've seen it would be in the finer detail, he's someone who is very picky with the final presentation of how your loved one will look in their in their moinga. And that's from the positioning of the two papaku. It is in the, the finer detail of the of the caskets and how they and the and the um, side sets, the, the beautiful material and how it sits on their loved one. And I and it's it's all those finer details that I feel is where he he um, is his strengths are. Uh -huh. uh, but it's it, <clears throat> and also it's always in the mihi and the service he gives to Fano, how he acknowledges everyone in the room. 
And sometimes when, you know, sometimes when you do, when someone gives them a he, um, you feel like you're just another number, but for when he speaks, and I'm sorry to speak about you like this, darling, but he doesn't like it when I do speak like this of him. When he does speak, you do feel like he is speaking directly to you. Mm -hmm. You're not just another number in the room. And it kind of feels, well, you do feel special when you're in that moment um, of grief with them. <clears throat> so I'm grateful that he has those those traits and I'm grateful that I can be part of his waiata <laughs> at the end when we are singing or be part of his waiata as well. Because mm. that's a gift. That ability. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Nga te mātakitaki ngā tangata pira i ako e. Tino ranga tino ke Māori. Hi. But it is, eh, what, you know, just watching others and then wondering, you know, i roto i a rātou kōrero ki te, ki te whakamininga um, and how you felt as one of many to a kai kōrero. And so you've got, you want to turn that around and make that the same for your kōrero to make uh, people feel like uh, e kōrero no koe. Kiaia anahe. Mm. Engari, you're talking to a room full, and so I think that is a gift. And Yahu mai here, yeah, well, okay, I think in mea ko akona. Maybe, yeah. Uh, tini uh, kau mātou, mm. kuia, ko ronga, mm. ko do, do you think you were made for this job? Do you think this is... Because I'm trying to think if you could do any... You could probably do a whole bunch of other things, but it sounds like, given your gift, mm. this is what you were made to do. Po possibly. I haven't quite thought of... Yeah. I think <laughs> it's hard. Maybe, maybe, yes, maybe. Well, I mean, there are times where I don't want to do. It. I had enough, you know. Um, three, three, three funerals in a row in a day. I mean, I, you know, at the end of it, I could ruin someone's tangihanga by saying the wrong name of the wrong two papaku, and I'm thank God that I've got lids of coffins with names on this, so I can. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean, but I'm it's sorry to anyone. It. Really? Aye, no, that's what, because after after time, it, 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 people when they come up to you and say, "Oh, I remember you yes. looked after my mother." Well, I mean, I told you how many mati we yeah, have. Yeah. It's so hard to remember everyone. And so, oh, I will not forget that though. When he's done that, he's like, someone has come up to you. Oh, Francis, thank you so much for looking after us that time. And he'll go, "Oh yes, how was mum? Oh no, it was mum that you looked after. Oh sorry, <laughs> how's dad? <laughs> He's dead too. <laughs> well, how are you, dear? He's going, how are you? <laughs> so I just say, how's the father? No, never mind saying how's mum dead. Because one of them's dead. Yeah. Hey, um, I suspect you've um, seen some pretty tragic and horrific things yes. too. Can you you talk us through that and how you've dealt with that mm. a situation that has just broken your heart? Mm. I think, um, do you want to start? Or yeah, well, there was one time where I almost had enough. I thought, oh, this is too much. And there was this, at Middlemore Hospital, I went to uh, uplift this wahine who died and she was pregnant at the same time. Mm. And we just had our baby. And, mm. we had a raru raru. And, and, you know, it wasn't so much, it's not so much uh, a tupapaku that can make you sad. It's the reaction of mm, their whanau. Uh, which sh shows you how much this person was loved or how tragic the loss is. Because, you know, he, a tupapaku is just a tupapaku ne, you know, ko, ko haere to te wairu o te tangata o, o ngā tangata in this case. And then so it's not until you get families near uh, and you hear and feel their expressions of, of sadness, then you understand you, oh my goodness, and those piercing cries and words and all those feelings get to you and man, it's, it's enough to make you give up. In that situation, how do you not take it home? Because it must. You do. You do. We do. Mm. So how do you deal with that at home? Then? Are you are you like the sponge that kind of? Pretty much mm. both of us. We we do we bounce off one another, debrief, and really talk it out. And sometimes it's our tamariki that bring us mm. back. You know, we go, we see them. They ha haven't seen them all day, and then, then when you see their smile, you, oh, it's all worth it. It's, yeah. Mm. Give mummy a big hug because that's mm. all I want. <laughs> wow. Mm. How, how do they react like that? 
the must do they do they kind of get a hint that something's gone on or is it just nah, tamariki no on and yeah, mainly tamariki no ora. They don't really we don't really talk much about that, you know, mm. in front of them. Yeah, not just the to, tamariki. Don't want to drag them into it, but um we're probably the worst parents to take, take our kids out, you know, like we go to a park <laughs> and say, "Don't climb the tree, you might fall off and die. Don't run, you might get hit by a car. Well, yeah. Don't do, you know what I mean? We know or bouncing off certain things. Hey, 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 no kiatu pato and it's only mm. like knee high, but it's If you're going on the trampoline, put your helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what I meant, yeah. Uh, and so we, th- we thought, oh, we've got to ease back and get, you know, just One live, thing is for me, live. though, is uh, uh, pools. And if anyone's got a pool, I'm always questioning, uh, it's, you know, is it safe? Is it got a fence up? How high is your fence? Can You know, I'm just, I just won't let my kids go unless I'm there. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah unless they're with people who I can trust. It's, and that's because a lot of the time when we have the people or the children that have drowned, it's mum mm. and dad weren't there or, mm. or, or they were at auntie's house or mm. uncle's house. And so we're just like, oh, no, we always, you know, it's sort of, and that's where it's it's interfered with, with our life a little bit. Mm. Uh, but, you know, we work on it. It's something you work on. Mm. Well, that must be tough for your whanau, right? So particularly your tamariki where you've... Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. But... Um, uh, yeah, like, like you said, we have definitely seen so... Uh, you think of a, the most tragic case. You've seen it. We've seen we've it. We've seen it. Mm. And we've learned to deal with that um, between us, our staff especially, when we know that, you know, kotou maha ki te mahi. Mm. Most of the times it's just the kai that will, that will bring them back to reality. Sometimes they do. They let it out, have a tangi, a harane, whatever it is. Let's have a kōrero, let's hui about it. Because mm. we don't want them carrying that mamai so we we do as as a staff as as team leaders we like to ensure that everyone is mentally well with their next mahi if they or even have some time off mahi if they're not prepared to go back just yet mm. generally most of the times our staff are, they they take it all on and they'll let us know if mahi's mm-hmm. but um, they're good we, i love the bunch that we mm-hmm. have and we say to them, you know, if you, if you have the, if you've got a tangi, don't, you know, met tangi, don't stand there because you look more silly, try not to. Like, <laughs> just, why hong a room with the hinky, you know, just let it be because we're human, eh? Yeah. And, um, and so that's, but I've seen a lot of them stand there. Like, <laughs> Especially our new kai mahi, you know? you know, they can't help but just tangi, but we've had one of them just cry nearly every day. And just, oh, yeah, no. I was just like, yeah, well, maybe right. you can Come and have a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we are ahu What is the reaction that people have to you when you tell them, oh, well, everyone knows what you do now because, you know, you're the most popular show on Netflix, <coughs> across the world, <laughs> especially with Casketeers. But before that ubiquitousness, what was people's reaction to you both when you said, oh, we run a funeral home or, you know, Tibane funerals? We, that's our mahi. Was it a conversation killer? Pretty it was. Much. Really? It was. It just stopped the whole quarter door. And then, you know, there were times you're going out and people would, oh, what do you get up to? And then I, w- I used to say I was funeral services, the funeral director, and I said, oh, I'm a funeral celebrant. You know, just, to, oh, we conduct celebrant funerals. Yeah, yeah, it's better than um, your funeral director. Go, oh, because you know what that's about. And so, um, yeah, that was a conversation stop aside. Just figured out words to use. But now, thanks to, you know, people understanding, um, more people want to know mm. a yeah. lot more yeah. mm, about what it is. Rather but particularly than, Māori? Or? No, no. Um, particularly Pākehā. Pāno. Really? Yeah, it's, we, our numbers of Pākehā funerals have been through the roof. I love Pākehā funerals, by the way. <laughs> well, why do you love Pākehā funerals? Because they're on time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they turn up on time. And they pay on they, time. <laughs> oh, I love Pākehās, my goodness me. And, um, and, but the only thing I don't like about the ones is the hākari. It's more finger food. But we're not, you know, <laughs> it is. Um, One for you. Yeah, <laughs> sausage roll for you, <laughs> sandwich for you. And so, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and it makes sense about how, how they, the culture of uh, the way they have funerals works. Um, I was able to participate in a funeral of a uh, queer, a Pākehā elderly queer, and um, we had her body for almost two weeks, Ngāti Mehu Mokupuna, was studying um, down, down uh, the... Hang on. 
her mokopuna was studying at Farewana or something. Mm-hmm. We're studying and university. So you held on to her. Yes, mm. because it was in her best interest that her children got through their study. Her mokopuna got through their study. Wow. Then we arranged to have the funeral done in two weeks' time. Uh, exams. exams. So she didn't want them upset and she said it before she died. She wanted to make sure she got, you know, the, the children because of the investment that sh- that the farm had invested. In. And I thought, you know, at first I was like, oh, and I told her, I said, look what, look at this. And she's <laughs> like, oh, really? Because, you know, Atawa Te Māori, you stop everything you're yeah, doing yeah, and you, you, yeah. everything focuses on the market, but not in this case and not in a lot of cases um, with Pākehā funerals, you know. Um, and I respect that, to be honest with you, because how are they to pay their bills? They go to work and they'll still work. I mean, like us, you know, we'll have three, four days off work and <laughs> hang out at the marae and we'll, you know, yeah, and that's important too. Whatnot. That's important. Um, but <laughs> the differences uh, and everything, people still go to work and then on the final day, because the bodies, the tupapa will stay in our care. They don't go home, they right. stay there. And then on the final day, we'll have a funeral at a church or a chapel, um, which is beautiful. Um, at the same time, but mm. you know, it's a, it's a different culture, and so I respect it, it and I love what they do. Different and what they're needs. About. Yeah. And so you know, with us being Māori, we're around the Tupapaku twenty four seven. Our Pakeha Fano tend to just ring up and say, oh, "Is it possible if we can come and see Mum at this time?" <laughs> you know, they're ringing up asking for time. So to view, they're to view, viewing, viewing. to view. Mm. <clears throat> so it's it's different. Oh, but it's dear, this is your mother. You come when you no. want to come. I don't mind. Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Come, just come and see you here to see mum, and then yeah, one I of the know. staff will take you through. Wow. Mm. What's what's the effect been of, um, you know, Cascades is an awesome show, right? I remember mean, I watched the first series. Oh, wow, this is awesome. <laughs> what's, the, what's the biggest change in your lives now that's occurred as a result of Cascades? You know, is it um, all the autographs you have to sign? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I never thought in my life people would want to ask for a selfie with the funeral director. Too. <laughs> <laughs> just, You're right. Yeah, I'm just like, really? You want to have fun with people? I'm like, oh, okay, cool as. Oh, and, and mum too, papa <laughs> <laughs> well, And that's true, though, eh? Some of them do, mm. though. <laughs> no, even on our motere, eh? They're not really into that tapu tapu scene. Oh. They just they take. Tango yeah, with the with the two papaku. They're like, Francis, can you get a mum and <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hang on. But you, and you do or not? Well, yeah, I do. Because <laughs> you really? I don't want you know what I'm. I'm here. I am saying to it. Oh, don't have a photo here. Top with it. And the next minute, her why? Oh, me and the dead body. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah, but that's but that's their belief and their that, that's what they they get it up to. <laughs> Um, in their whakaaro. So I'm just like, okay, because nothing we have half tongue in the house. So he I can just, do that. I probably would be like, oh, can we come over here? I can have a selfie with you over here. <laughs> <laughs> but he can. No. Yeah. Oh, boy. I but think, no, life's changed just a little look, bit. Look, hmm. it's, it's beautiful that, you know, that death can be normalised like this and that the show has been able to, um, from what I've seen in the writings, lift the taboo or or be able to have regular conversations about um, mate or about funerals. At some point in, in, in our time, we weren't able to do that. Mm. Um, so when, it's nice to know that people can come up to us and have a conversation about it. I want to plan. I want to, mm. you know, I want to bring all my kids there, and we can have a kōrero about my about my mate, about my my tangihanga. Is that happening more and more now? It is. As a result of. The program? Aye. Or was it? Oh, really? It mm-hmm. is. Yeah. It was very difficult at first when we set up in the industry to try and educate our whanau about costs or about how they want to have their funeral or planning ahead. It's, now people are just knocking on our doors, ringing up, can we please have mm. a, can we please sit down at this time or what is our, yeah, mm. the availability. And so we try and make ourselves available for those. Mm. Yeah. And I think uh, for, for, you know, the, the, for a long time, I think the the TV company that made the show had been asking us for a number of years, and for many years we said no, no. <laughs> what? He, he said no. Oh, I said no for about four <laughs> years straight, you know, because I don't think we were ready at the time. Um, we hadn't got ourselves sorted, but I'm not sure if this was, you know, like the digital era has come, and that that short amount of five six years has changed things. I mean, we've got. You know, up north, Tangi being broadcasted, you know, different oh, certain. I was ask you, hey, about that. Yeah. you know what I mean? And so at that point, it was like, okay, 
people are we opening up and mm. then and then on snippets of the news you'd see bits of tangi like with yeah. casket coming out of a marae and mm. whanau and then I thought okay it's a bit more and maybe more we're ready receptive. now now and so that's when we said yes okay back then it was as for us it was it was how that was going to be portrayed mm. is it we if anything we just didn't want any disrespect on the two papaku mm. or their whanau so I, now that we've seen what, what, how they produce it, I, I don't think we'll be able to mm. to go with another another team because it's it's lovely to see how it has been portrayed. Yeah. Um, it was challenging at first for us because we did see different statuses and views of of some um, you know dominant people in 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 Maori dim, and so when they say no no cameras or no whakahua during this time it's just like okay is it safe for us to start the show or not yeah. Yeah. so yeah i think i'm glad that we have and we've been able to sort of challenge people in that respect um, and it's definitely put a different view on on how it can be portrayed so i and with the utmost respect and uh, humility i say that the show or, or the, the the way in which they've chosen uh, us, we're so blessed that um, they've done that. Uh, but I reckon any Māori really in, in this business would have done the same thing, that, that we just are naturally good at manaki, naturally good at, you know, arohaki te tangata. And I think it, it was a good way to portray something Māori to everyone. Look. Ne, uh, and, and they see that with him and they say, oh, you know, we're the best. But I think any Māori would have done the same thing, to be honest. I think, look, leading up to the first episode of the first series, there was an ad that came out and I was just like, he said something about, you know, I love my wife, but I don't like working with her type thing. And I was like, really? <laughs> Did you say that? I can't remember saying that. I, I, said to, I think the, the, the people edited it. Yeah, and then and then as as you see the first episode, um, but even still seeing the build ups of it, yeah. there was an ad and I saw um, some sort of link on Facebook and the amount of feedback there was at the time, so much negative feedback leading up to because it, it was just the beginning of the year. Mm. And I think from what it looked like, there were a lot of uh, non Māori making these posts. Oh, really, TVNZ? Right now, we've just got over. The, we're just celebrating New Year. You want to hit us with something sad? But after the the screening of the first episode, there was just so much beautiful feedback that helped us. It lifted us because we were so nervous. But like, how the heck can this go forward? And we we're both holding in our hands. As when the, when it came on the studio, we thought, oh, <laughs> well, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here's can't stop now. Can't, stop now. We <laughs> can't <laughs> really raise it because, we, you know. And, and, mm. and to be honest, I think they've done, they did a beautiful job how they y used him mm. um, to yep. break mm. the the sadness. Yeah. We did, there was there needed to be a balance. There needed to be some staff banter and whatever and mm. and in order to be accepted at the time that's yeah. they needed to relate to someone mm. so, it so what's what's the long term aspiration now you know is it uh tiffany funerals like mcdonald's all over the country <laughs> set up your own franchise <laughs> <or>? <laughs> Yeah. There's been the demand everywhere. There's so many people that call us from. And we're, honestly, we're truly blessed that people want us to set up in different areas of the country, even the world. Oh my gosh! I, like where? Tell oh where. look, I got an email from Alaska. Alaska. So, I know. I was like, well, where's that place? I'm <laughs> Alaska, um, Ohio, um, Missouri. All the, this, these are just you know places that I haven't really heard of. Um, so many places in Australia as well. Um, uh, do you, look, not, don't, do you don't want to do that? Uh, I, at this stage, look, we've got a young whanau. Mm. And t I don't think it... it oh, can it be done, huh? What do you think? Well, it can be, but yeah, we're not, not really in that. You know, we've got to get things right here in Aotearoa there first with our own whanau. But I guess my aspiration for us is we, we as a company, we're looking uh, to... to 
I'd love to get Alfano more involved in the actual preparation mm. of the body. Yeah. So, you know, there's a part where we take the body into our care. We say, all right, well, we've got to leave the body with us for three, four hours. Uh, we're working on involving our whānau more. And how? Whether it be um, inviting wash. some of the immediate whānau in to have the last wash, the horoi tinana, mm. to, you know, maybe shampoo, condition hair. Mm. Those are things that a lot of daughters do to their mums and dads when they're alive anyway, you know, in, the, in their last um, stages of life. And so I'd like to give that opportunity Aye. to whānau uh, so that we become more uh, one with our, our mate before they later rest. So mm. that's something we're working on now. Again, my wife was mentioning council. Well, it's about that again <laughs> and figuring that out. Whereas me, I'm just, oh, no, just bring them in. But she's, you know, doing it the right way. Um, <clears throat> the law, <laughs> L-A-W. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so that's what I'd like you for, is, is to invite a fan. And because they always ask, can we come with you? Can we go in the room? Yeah. And our more trends are kahore, health and safety, all of this. But uh, mm. there, there is that aspiration to truly get the whānau involved. Um, it's a goal we're working on. Mm, just for, for, the, for the last horoi and then dress the body and then place the body in the casket. And so I'd love that. Not everyone will like it, that's ketepai, but there are many mm. that do ask. And so it's an opportunity. It's one of the things I'm looking forward to. Mm. What do you want your kids to do when they grow up? Do you want them to be a part of the business? Do you want oh. them to be involved? And, well, they're probably already involved, but do you want them to take <laughs> it over, you know? That's the that's a, that's the goal we're to at least have one of them take oh. over the business and and operate it and and hopefully take it to another level. But mm. um, at this stage, none of them are showing interest. Oh, maybe one. Maybe Mikai. Maybe yeah. He loves himini. He does loves coffins. Karakia. He loves karakia. Yeah. <laughs> does love coffins. Mm. He's pushing them around like he's in. He's the the funeral director, and he will have. As he's pushing his singing for Kari Mai, mai. and oh, Good on him. Yeah. <laughs> and then they, you know, they, most kids play as well. He likes to play tangi. So he goes, lie down. You be the dead one, and I'll say the prayer. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and we and her are cracking up watching this. But, um, hey, it is what it is. And so we're just we, not sure what his friends are like at school or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. we have had a had a call from the kuda one time. <laughs> About what? We were asked to go. They're like, look. Cause um, Mr. and Mrs. Stephen, it's really important that you come to the school um, mm. today, please. After school, we need to see you. Oh, okay. What's happening? It's, it's just really important. Wow. We get there. And mm. She talks to us about our son's drawing, and it had these caskets on the drawing. <laughs> to us, that was perfectly normal. Yeah. You know, oh, we're funeral directors, and this is what we do. She's like, oh my gosh, we just thought that maybe, you know, something's He's going on. He's been having on. bad dreams. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh no, he's just drawing all the coffins at work. <laughs> so that was funny. So she apologizes. Oh no, you don't know. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, so that was very funny. We cracked up about that. It was. What yeah. would your, um, hey, hey, don't forget to get a pie on our corner. Um, and as you can see, I prepared extensively for this. <laughs> <laughs> Had a whole one question. Um, what would your advice be to, cause this is for an Indigenous audience, right? what would your advice be to any Rangatahi or anyone else who's thinking of following in your amazing footsteps mm. right, and going into this business? I would say to come... If you are looking into this profession, to be open mind and to have people skills mm -hmm. and have be of understanding. Mm -hmm. That's my simple advice for them. Mm -hmm. Francis? Fano is so important. You know, when you're an Indigenous mm -hmm. person or like us as Māori, we know so many people. Mm -hmm. um, and to call on them to afi, to build it, because we didn't do this alone. It was a fun, like I said, I'd call the cousins to do this, do that and do that. And that's how you do it um, and, and rely on your Fano because in this game, you will return the favour mm -hmm. at some point. Mm. at the end of someone's life. And that's when you say, you helped me, now I'm helping you. Um, it just takes, you know, for, for, for my cousins who are builders and plumbers, I, just, well, I can't return the favour until you know. Um, but at, at that stage, that's that's what you need to do. Yeah, just call on uh, your whanau to be there. 
um, and reach out and ask for help because when we were wanting to get into this business it was very closed mm. you know it's a generation of people keep it in their far no well the time has come now for us to help others mm. and there is a need for more of us because you know tipping funerals is, is pretty you know, flat out at the moment and so it's good to what, what's what's next who's going to be there mm. to help out and and um you know share the load of, but in, in the way in which we as people take care of our own. Mm.